Today, I talked to a former military pandemic expert about the strengths and weaknesses of Las Vegas moving forward as the valley recovers. The new normal will be different. Former Lieutenant Colonel Hal Kempfers helped the military and people in the public and private sectors all over the world prepare for pandemics. There are certain things you have to do for contagious disease or infectious diseases. He's also done a lot of work here in his hometown of Las Vegas. Training uh, that has involved pretty much uh, every property, major property in Las Vegas. Uh, I've done training uh, extensively with uh, Las Vegas Metro and the Homeland Security Fusion Center in Las Vegas. I asked him about some of the biggest weaknesses and biggest strengths of Las Vegas compared to other cities moving forward in terms of hurdles. So much of Las Vegas is based on going someplace with large groups of people and doing something in close proximity to others whether it's gambling or shows or going to nightclubs or, or even out to dinner. He says the casinos already do a good job of approaching public safety as a collective issue. This can't be any different. He says feeling safe to come to Las Vegas is a huge part of the appeal. The strength of Las Vegas is that is really more geographic than anything else. It sits in the desert. Las Vegas has a built-in advantage and that it's possible to contain Las Vegas put in a heavy screening and testing protocol in place. Doesn't mean you get rid of all the prophylaxis and the protocols for masking and everything else by putting in these layers of protection. Uh, effectively, you could get to a point where going to Las Vegas poses really little more risk than staying at home uh, with stay at home orders. And, and once you get to that level, then that's when Las Vegas becomes the destination for people who want to get away and do things. And of course, if you want to hold a conference or convention, Las Vegas has a competitive advantage above any other place because of that basic safety factor.